burn you a wool mesh, overpriced stripper shirt? Or great base layer for active people in the winter. You decide. I put out a video a few months ago called Wool versus Down versus Fleece. And in that video, I had one commenter, Chris Baum, who is a Norwegian who frequently goes camping in sub-zero temperatures, much like today. And that comment received over 400 thumbs up. The comment read in part, One thing I rarely to never see in American videos are wool netting. And I wonder why. Netting is superior to full weave when it comes to weight, ventilation when you need it, and drying when you need that. It takes so much less time to dry some netting mask than tightly woven item. Check out brands like Aklama and Birnia who have been used by everyone from Edmund Hillary to military and Nordic countries and polar explorers. We freeze dries the netting in snow, let the sweat freeze, shake off the ice, and then it is dry again. 400 thumbs up to a comment in one of my videos. My interest was piqued. So I started to do a little bit of research and I could not find the Aklama brand available in the United States. I started looking at Bernia and they were super expensive. So I started doing a little bit more research, kind of like you. I went to YouTube and started looking for Bernia videos on YouTube. However, most of them we're in Norwegian. No, I brukar det under skjort. Det brukar under agens, det brukar under allt och det är så behagligt att ha in på kroppen. I bit the bullet and I ordered the wool long sleeve base layer with inlay. Now the inlay is so if you're wearing a backpack, it's a little bit more comfortable on your shoulders. A few days later I met up with my friend Shug at a camp out. All right, all secure in sector seven. Woo, buddy! Shug is one of the original backpacking YouTubers and an authority on hammocks and backpacking gear. Shug was wearing wool netting as his base layer and he said, that is the way to go. My shirt came quickly and I recently wore it on a three day remote winter camping trip in the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. On the first day, it was about 10 degrees sunny and windy. I wore my new mesh base layer with an Appalachian Gear Company alpaca hoodie, a midweight wool quarter zip, and a down vest. As we pulled our pulks over the lakes to our campsite, I worked up a sweat and removed the vest and the wool shirt. When we got to camp, we had a lot of work to do because camp was under three feet of snow. As the temperatures fell, I put more layers back on. Now that wool mesh shirt dried very quickly and it was surprisingly comfortable where I ended up wearing it just sitting around camp and even sleeping at night. The next day we trekked across the lake and it was super cold and windy. With that wool mesh base layer and layers over the top, I stayed warm and dry the whole time. When we got back, we had to gather and process firewood, which I stayed dry, but I had to take some layers off to prevent sweating. Later, I wore my stripper shirt down to the lake to do a polar plunge. Right, Here we go. come. You're a lean, mean machine, man. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. Oh, oh that you, you're wearing your stripper shirt like uh, mine is underneath. I don't have it out. The wool mesh is not a warm shirt without any layers over the top when it's zero degrees outside. Oh, the sun. It's warm out. No, it's not warm out here. I did not stay warm and I did not stay dry. Can you touch? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah. The next morning we woke to negative 15 degrees, packed up camp and walked back across the lake. I stayed dry and warm the whole time 
kind of getting used to that mesh shirt and what layers I needed to wear. The Bernia wool mesh base layer performed very well for me. If you're gonna be out in the cold and be active, I highly recommend that you try the Bernia wool mesh base layer because not only does it dry out quickly, but it kept me dry and it was very comfortable. Uh, I am going to be investing soon in the wool mesh long johns for my legs and we'll be wearing that on future winter expeditions. I am not being paid by Bernia. I have no connection to them, but I will put a link uh, to their website down below in the description and you can check it out for yourself. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and do me a favor and hit subscribe. Punch that bell notification. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. And friends, I'm going to go out and go hiking in the snow and I'm going to stay dry and warm. We'll see you on the trail.